Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Wow, oh, what a beautiful day it is. Today I decided to change and move where I am sitting. It's just like exploring different parts of my office. And uh, I wonder if... Uh, if my voice and the sound is good, it's a good quality. So I will wait until someone shows up to find out if the... Hi! How are you? Hi, Luz. Um, I wonder, is the sound good or shall I um, come closer and modify the sound? Um, welcome for all of you. It's a beautiful day today, today being December 20th. Today's, why did I say December? I am way ahead of myself, right? It's November, November, November. We still have a whole month to go for December. Um, hi, sweetie. So, November. We are two days away from Thanksgiving. And what a beautiful time to give thanks. And why do I say time? Because time is a perception. I think time being a time of where we are in life, not so much of internal clock or anything else, but what's happening within and our surrounding the time. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa Bubari. By trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and an action coach. And every Tuesday, we I come on to share information, um, healing information, health information, empowering information, self-love, self-healing, self-esteem. Hello, Joseph. Hi, Mark. So... Today we're going to be talking about something that I think it's quite pertinent. In a way, I, um, hi Chris, I got into this line of business that I do practice as a hypnotherapist for 19 years uh, last month, not because of an opportunity, but of necessity. And why do I say necessity? Is because I used to be in the law, um, in the legal field as a paralegal for over nine years, wanting to be an attorney and doing everything, working 11, 12 hours a day uh, for this attorney. And I adored him. And my body broke down, literally. My knees had, they were just accumulating water. I was having problems with my shoulders. I would walk around like this, stressed. And to top it all off, I had already been diagnosed. Uh, actually, I had already had two surgeries for ovarian cysts. And for the third time, I was diagnosed with another cyst um, growing. And I had to go for surgery. It was that that led me for the manager of the law firm asked, uh, referring me to an acupuncturist. And it was the acupuncturist who gave me a sheet of paper asking me to read this article. The article talked about the powers of the mind and how hypnotherapy can help with ovarian cysts in healing ovarian cysts and feminine issues. Lo and behold, after reading that, I went to an, uh, a hypnotherapist in Burbank, which is actually in Pasadena. Her last name was Burbank, Trish Burbank. And in less than five sessions, about four sessions, the fifth one was just an anchoring. I figured out why my body was creating the ovarian cysts. And after healing it, I no longer needed the surgery. And that was the beginning of me going back to school, studying, and now 19 years later, I'm practicing the art 
and science of hypnotherapy to help other clients heal within. Hmm, but perfect name for my business, Heal Within. So in a way, what am I saying? I want to know, do you have anxieties? Do you have trauma? Do you have pain blocked in your body that you have not figured out how to release or how to uh, let go? And you mull over it, it makes you overwhelmed, makes you more anxious, makes you go into panic and anxiety. So when I say this job of mine is no longer a job, it's a career, it's a passion, everything I do came out of a necessity. And the difference between a necessity and opportunity is Opportunity is we have an opportunity to study something, we desire something, and we go after it. And necessity is we have to do something, and through doing that, we find something that works for us. Now, I can say, I mentioned yesterday the three things we are thankful for, and what is it that you are thankful for? Three things that you are thankful for and here comes the blessed thanksgiving and yes just like my newsletter that i wrote not everyone has a rockwell thanksgiving or holidays we all have problems some issues are bigger than others as we know there is a lot of trauma and devastation that is happening around the country, right here in our country, in America. But there is back east with all the snow, here in Los Angeles area with all the, not only the shootings, but the fire all the way to San Francisco, the devastation. One city called Paradise is now ashes. That in itself is devastation. But often, if not always, often it's through devastation that we find the green leaf. We find the beauty. We find the golden nugget. And when I say that is because if there was no pain, we would not go and heal. So it's that negativity. If there is no destruction, there is no rebuilding, no new growth. It, it, I truly believe in all the years of the work that I do, and I hear so much, there is a law and order. It's like Mother Earth already knows because the seeds that are planted come to grow in spring right so it goes through harvest time and during winter time it goes into hibernation and it is in springtime that it springs forward it springs to surface so it's not that it plows like a gopher to go in but that seed grows from beneath the dirt beneath the negativity beneath the pain There are so many seeds that are planted. We plant seeds from birthing. Birthing in itself is such a magical thing. It is. It's magic. Being born is magic. Giving birth is magic. So that seed that comes from the sperm and that seed that opens up from the egg and allows this to enter, I mean, one in a million or even the two, but that's in millions of sperms in that one seed, in the seed of the child that comes to grow and be born. There is another seed. It's the seed of self-authentic humanness, the seed of 
who we are. So there is so much, hello Sanaz. There is so much we talk about being authentic. And I wonder, it, years ago, nobody knew or heard of being authentic. It's uh, being authenticity, uh, self-appreciation, self-love, self this, this, that. Because in the past, they used to say, um, it's self is um, being selfish. And selfish is negative. Self-love was negative. But if we are not taking care of the baby, the seed, and bringing it to full growth for the baby to be born, and if we are not taking care of ourselves, our health, our mind, we pay so much money for education. We pay so much money for health and workout. So that is all investment in the self. And being authentic. Being authentic is that seed and saying, I matter. Where my tagline is, you matter. Truly, you do matter. Every essence of you matters. So when you go and educate yourself, your mind matters. When you do things to exercise, yoga and swimming, dancing, all that to make your body stronger, your muscles stronger, it is you pampering and appreciating yourself, a part of you, which is your body, your mind, your heart. So when it comes to your heart, why is it so hard to accept that I want to safeguard myself, I want to appreciate myself, I want to better myself physically, mentally, and emotionally. And emotionally means not dissing, but distancing yourself from negative people, negative energy, negative consequences. And what is negative? And I'm not talking about the pain, but what is negative? Someone who devalues you or does not appreciate you. Someone who lives with you but does not cherish you. Or vice versa, you for other people. And, and I'm not saying that you are perfect, but maybe you are not appreciating and accepting and cherishing the person in your household, maybe parents, maybe siblings, cousins, lover. So why do I bring this up? Because I had a client, I do have a client, actually we finished our sessions just a week ago, and it's appreciating all of herself that when she has desires of not only to be cuddled, to be hugged, because that's how she feels loved, but also intimacy gives her a sense of, I am wanted, I am appreciated, and it's okay to communicate. That intimacy is also for a man, woman, or man, man, woman, woman. It doesn't matter. It's saying, my body wants to be appreciated. I want joy, not only from the outside, but the inside. And here's my question to you. Why is it so difficult for you and your partners? Or I should say, is it difficult for you to communicate with your loved one, your lover, your partner, that you want and desire more intimacy and love? Because one of the biggest things we truly ought to be grateful is this incredible body, your body. And it doesn't matter if tall or short and big and small, 
thin or overweight, it doesn't matter because it's the seed, it's the essence, the authentic self of you that says, I want to be loved not only emotionally, but physically. Actually, it's more spiritual connection, a good, loving, nurturing touch, a hug, or even intimacy. And so many people refrain from expressing, expressing their own desires. So this client of mine kept suppressing and suppressing and suppressing until this internal anxiety was waking her up. Until they came for the discussion and it's like, it's not... It's not a pain, it's not anxiety, but what is awakening you to say, pay attention to me? What is awakening you or tapping on you or knocking upon you that says, pay attention to me? Go ahead. What is it that you truly want that you have true, maybe suppressed? So one of the things I am thankful is the work I do. I am thankful because I have come after so many years of practicing the art and science of hypnotherapy, understanding that our subconscious mind, I'm a, I'm getting cozier here. By the way, this is another part of my office. And talk about subconscious. I'm going to shift and very gently show you. That's where my clients sit. Ah, that's a part of my office I wanted to show you. Yeah? That's where my clients sit, on that chair. And I sit right next to them. So... Where I am sitting is a small little couch that we do the consultation here, or if a child is here with the parents, we sit and talk, or couples. I treat clients one-on-one, -on -one and, then, and then we figure out things. Sometimes children need to speak on their own, even teenagers, to express what they want without the presence of their parents. But the parent is right next door. So back to our subconscious mind. I want you to just imagine the subconscious mind being that seed. The seed that stores everything from your mind, every thought, every emotion, every essence of your actions and reactions from the day that you were born until this very moment. So when I say the past is history and the present is the beginning of the new story you can make. If we put the blames aside, if we put um, pointing fingers and begin today, taking responsibility to start today, the pain that knocked on our body, that panic and anxiety, it's delving in and finding out why. And once, sometimes the why doesn't even matter. It's what is it? How can we shift it? How can you transform it? How can you bring it to fruition, which is invoking it? And then embracing what it is that we found out and then evolve to what it is that we want. So easy. That's my signature technique. Three E. Evoke it, embrace it, and then let's evolve. Right? So it's the past, the present, the future. The past has already happened. It's all it's the blueprint. But the blueprint, right, was created by somebody. Someone drew it, someone designed it, someone put it in there. So, and what we can do with that blueprint is check and see if it still works for this authentic self.
where you are today. And being authentic means embracing all of you, your desires, your wants, your needs. We all have a dark side. We all have negative thoughts that come. Unfortunately, there is also death. And and I say this because it's releasing it. It's accepting it. And that is reality. So today, I am grateful not only for the work I do with, I am grateful for my clients. I am grateful for the opportunity they each one gives themselves. And I'm just a tool. I am a helper. I am a guy. But each client that gives herself and himself the permission to be authentic with who they are. And if it is about sex, then talk about sex. If it is about a pain, talk about the pain. If it is something that you have done that has been shaming you until now, the only person that knows about it is you, the client. And the rest of the people does not matter as much because the self-punishment is always worse than anybody else punishing us. So if we can come to accepting and appreciating us with all that we are, that's called second gratefulness. Just sitting and saying, I am a human being. I've done wrongs, I've made mistakes, and today I choose, and whatever it is that you choose today. You can, I have a client that at, at age 40, after, um, after years and years of working, and after she decided, to retire, no, not at age 40, in her 50s, after her retirement, she picked up a passion. And to this day, she's one of the most beautiful artists that I know. And she did all this in the last decade, in 10 years. Why? Because it was a desire that had been put a lid on for the longest time and decided. I'm getting depressed, I want to draw. And by drawing, by singing, by dancing, by writing poetry, sanas, by expressing yourself any way you can express, that's when we come to heal with it. Healing is not by force, there is no force exuded by a therapist or anyone else. Healing is internal. Healing your pain is internal. I see you. See me. Every week that I come, I expose myself in a way, emotionally, to you. Do I have butterflies before I come on? Sometimes I do. Do I have a coherent um, synopsis of what I'm going to read and say? I have a title. Today was thankfulness. So being grateful and thankful for what I do being grateful and thankful for my clients, being grateful and thankful for the nonprofit that I started, just 
few months ago, and that is giving and wanting to help more children, motherless children between the ages of eight and 17, who have lost their mom either to death, incarceration, institutionalized, moms who walk out. Yes, not every single woman, not every single human being is loving. We know that. But we all have that seed. We do. And that seed is to be nurtured from within you. Goodness is right there in your heart, in the palm of your hand. So when we choose to become authentic is to say, I accept and appreciate all my misgivings, my miss, the, the things I have not done right. And today I choose to become better and more loving and giving. That's called authentic. So I hope this message makes sense. Um, you are welcome, Sanas. You are welcome, anyone. I got an email. Let me show the email I got right here. And it says, I'm reading this. Dear Lisa, thinking about it, the things that are created by nature generally have uh, negativity or love. I want to know uh, how do I find love within myself? And it, very simple, how do I find love within myself? So I want to say just the seed. The seed of who you are, even apples have a seed, fruits have a seed, right? So the seed of love is also within you. If you can start today by doing one thing loving, one thing, I don't know what that is. Doing something loving for me may be different than what it is for you. And I know she is listening right here, right now. So that in itself is the beginning of being loving. Love does not come from outside. I may have a partner, my boyfriend will say, I love you, or husband, not my husband, not my boyfriend, because right now I am single, but either yours or someone else. When they say, I love you, it's truly saying, I love you. But for you to feel the love and appreciate it is, do you feel loved by me? And that is the pure essence of asking, do you feel loved by me? And if that person says yes or no, then the next question is, how may I show you or how would you like to feel more loved by me? Do you want more calls? Do you want flowers? Do you want me to hug you more? Do you want me to share it and say it more? What does it take for you to feel loved by me? So that is my question to you. Today I asked, yesterday I posted something about Thanksgiving and having a blessed Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is for you to sit just a moment and say, I give thanks to all of me, to all who surround me. I give thanks to the raspberry that I just placed in my mouth. That small little la raspberry tastes great on my palate. 
There are people who don't even know outside of California or some places. They don't even know. You go to another state in America. And if you say avocado, they don't even know what avocado is. So they haven't really tasted the essence of avocado. They haven't held an avocado. They don't know the texture of an avocado in their hand or when they peel it, that big seed inside an avocado that if you take it and plant it, it will grow and have a beautiful avocado tree. You see, we take so much for granted. So today, I hope you take today's session and begin to heal within. Let go of blames and shames and guilt. It's no longer doing you good. But today, you decide. I matter. And I'm planting a seed of love. All we have to do is one day at a time. Right? So one week at a time. Today is almost two years. Next week, in two weeks, it will be exactly two years that I have been doing Heal Talk Tuesdays week after week. And that's beautiful. And it's loving when I get your messages, your texts, your emails. And last week, I gave away three free consultations for actually mini sessions for half an hour. And I am extending that until the end of this month. If you want, I'll be more than happy. I am here available for you. We'll do power mini sessions this week this friday i am available from 9 a.m to 12 noon uh, pm me message me if you want your complimentary half an hour power mini uh, session i am here for you if i can help let's explore let's explore and see what we can do I matter and I'm planting the seed of self-love. Ah, oh, Sanaz, I love it. I love it. Thank you. Yes, I look forward for the day that I hug you. I'm saying this. So I'm planting a seed for you. Um, June 1st is my 3e event coming soon i'm going to be talking about save the date but i want to plant that seed for you to come to la yes say yes yes now for all of you thank you for being here i hope today's session was wonderful to you don't forget this friday i am offering um power mini power sessions pm me message me uh, and I would love to be here for you. Also, this will repeat on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. You can always find me on YouTube under Lisa Babari or Heal Within. And I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Until then, God bless you. Uh, may the universal light surround you, protect you, and shield you. And happy, happy blessed thanksgiving to you and your family goodbye bye sanas <laughs>